Thank you for joining us. Let's take a trip to South America. This time, Peru. Hello, my name is Solomon and this is Gina. We love to travel to exotic places and cultures to enjoy the local cuisines, natural wonders and entertainment. We are known as the spicy travelers because we originally hail from the land of exotic spices or better known as India. We love to eat, cook and watch others prepare food with local exotic spices. Peru is a country in South America that's home to the beautiful and adventurous Amazon rainforest the mystical Machu Picchu, the mysterious Sacred Valley, including the Inca Trail, and the colonial city of Cusco, which is rich in archaeological sites, but most importantly the unique sources of food and diet. We heard so much about Peru and we were very excited as we started our journey. We started our trip from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, to the city of Lima, which is at the Pacific Coast and is the capital of the country. We arrived after about five and a half hours of flight time. The immigration was easy since we had US passports and did not require visas. As soon as we exited immigration, I exchanged money for the local currency which is known as Seoul. By the time we got outside it was almost 11 p.m. local time. We caught a taxi and headed to our hotel which was located at the beautiful Miraflores area right off the ocean in Lima, Peru. Now, I have already booked online a small hotel called Hosta Torre Blanca. When I booked it online, the pictures made it look very big and also the rooms looked very big. But when we got there, the rooms and the hotel including was extremely small. But the staff were very friendly and helpful. It was almost 12 midnight after we checked in. We were starving. Since the hotel did not have any restaurants, we walked outside to see if anything was open where we can get some food from. After about 10 minutes of walking around the quiet streets at midnight, we found one place and they were about to close in 5 minutes. In my broken Spanish, I asked them if they could let us in. They were nice enough to let us in and serve us. The food was excellent, especially the pizza. Also, the empanadas were some of the best we ever had. Next morning, we headed to the biggest mall in Lima, La Comar, which was built against a granite seawall. We had to wear jackets since it was somewhat chilly with the cold ocean winds slamming against us. The mall was unique in the architecture and the structure. It also had a lot of high-class boutique stores, also excellent coffee and chocolate shops with organic coffee and chocolates from the local area. In the afternoon, we headed to the airport to catch our flight to Cusco, a colonial city which was about 550 miles away. The city has beautiful old architectures and very close to the famous Sacred Valley. We took the Star Peru Airlines which seems to be better of all the other local airlines. They are famous for delays or breaking down very often. This time we landed in Cusco without any issues. Cusco is about 11,000 feet or 3,000 meters above sea level. This can cause breathing issues and headaches and so forth. We took the taxi from the Cusco airport and arrived at the central part of the city where our hotel was located. There were beautiful architectures all around dating back to hundreds and hundreds of years. Cathedrals and other buildings which are now used mainly as hotels, shops, restaurants and local government establishments. Our hotel was a huge building dating back almost 500 years. The service was friendly and the rooms were dated but with modern incentives. Soon after we arrived at the hotel, the elevation sickness kicked in and we started having a little trouble breathing and also a slight headache. At the check-in area of the hotel, there was a huge pot of cocoa leaves with hot water nearby. The hotel staff told us to drink the cocoa tea that will help us with our headaches and breathing problems. We put some cocoa leaves in hot water and waited a few minutes and then started sipping it. Believe it or not, it worked immediately. After a few minutes, our nose congestion started to ease and our headaches started going away. Well, for the rest of the trip, we had cocoa tea three times a day just to keep ourselves sane. Next day, we decided to explore Cusco and started with the biggest market in Cusco. There were thousands of locals selling all kinds of spices, herbs, and other local ingredients. 
Lots of little stalls where vendors were selling fruit cups, local soups, corn, meat, spices, and other local favorite dishes. Vendors were very friendly and very helpful. That evening we booked an all day trip for the next day to the Sacred Valley and to the ruins of the Incas. The trip was booked at the hotel entrance and it was not as expensive as we initially thought. Early next morning the buses came and picked us up at the hotel entrance. We had a very enjoyable trip with an excellent western buffet lunch and then they dropped us off to the town of Oliantampu. In Oliantampu we stayed at a small hotel and it had internet access. Early next morning we took a very nice luxury train to Agua Calientes to see the majestic Machu Picchu. This experience was amazing. The rest I will explain in the photos. Thank you for watching.